and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to be looking at another little short film called My Shadow is Pink. Um, I will do the link before. It's on YouTube. It's by um, Scott Stewart, I believe, is the creator here. Yes, Scott Stewart. There is no uh, words in this film. It's a little over nine minutes. It's very, it's all animated. So it's definitely... I wouldn't say it's necessarily geared toward the younger crowd, but it works for the little ones. If you're talking to them about people who are gender neutral, I think is the best way to explain this video because basically what you have is you have a little boy who's conflicted. His shadow is pink and is a little bit more feminine. And you see him, little boy, looking at pictures of him and his dad up on his wall. And his dad is uber masculine, big superhero, muscly type um, dad. And yet he wants to wear a tutu and dance around. And so he does that. His dad walks in. His dad has a blue shadow. His dad is a big guy. Um, and he's, he's, his dad is kind of concerned. But he goes to school because it's dressed like your shadow day. And I don't, you, don't, you don't ever see the classroom. You see him go in, something happens and he runs out upset so he goes home he's he's upset his his dad sees this and his dad is conflicted and then his dad puts on a tutu as well as his dad's blue shadow uh, so because his shadows are sentient in this in this little video so in this tiny this little short film and his dad put in his shadow put on a tutu and they come in and kind of show his dad show the little boy that yeah, I accept you. It's okay. You can do this. You can be this. I love you. And again, this is all done without words. So little boy goes back to school in the tutu and he's happy. And that's really the end of it. And it's it's very much about how this little boy is conflicted and how his dad comes to accept him all in like nine minutes with no words. It's really good um, little video. It's a short animated film it's done very very well and it's it, it, it's good to show the conflict within oneself and within the parent and then in, in the end the parent sets an example and says no this is okay be who you are I love you anyway it doesn't it does not matter so that's really it I, this is a really really short short little video but again, it's like a nine minute thing. And I did enjoy it. I will, as I do with everything, I will link this below. I don't know. I'm doing a couple short films just because LGBTQ plus motion pictures are pretty much non-existent that are family friendly. Um, the only one that tops off my mind, um, and I know there are more, is Love, Simon, which I do believe I'm actually covering this month. Um, Brokeback Mountain, which I'm not going to cover probably ever, uh, because again, it's not really all that family friendly, as far as I know. I've never seen it. Um, I have not watched Love Simon yet. It's on my list. So this is being done, oddly enough, on the sixth of January. <laughs> you guys will be seeing it this summer. Um, but that's that's how I roll. I have to do stuff ahead of time. So interesting little video. Um, if you enjoy this, I am covering LGBTQ, both um, media, which is mostly short, short films. Um, I have Love, Simon on there. Uh, I think I have another one that's a little bit longer. I also have another short film that's coming or has passed this month, which is uh, oh, Tyler which is a little bit longer about um, a conversation between a nine-year-old boy and his college-age brother about him basically coming out as gay. And so that's that's up there part of this month. So most of it's, it, it's the short films. And then I have a variety of books that are um, coming up on this topic. I'm also covering this year uh, series-wise. This is a big series year for me. So... I'm covering the Princess Diaries, the Guardians of Gahul. In between those two, you're getting two Tamora Pierce series, um, Song of the Linus Quartet and The Immortals. And then you're also getting the 
short sub-series of Meg Cabot, which is The Notebooks of a Middle School Princess, which is a spin-off and connected to The Princess Diaries. Um, the Guardians of Goku should be going on now. There's about 18 reviews going on with that, which is the reason it took so long. Uh, besides, there's like 15 books, and then there's a couple, there's a short stories, and then there's a guide to Gahul. Um, uh, once those are done, I'm going back to Meg Cabot for another short, uh, middle school series, and then I'm going to go back to Catherine Lasky and do her wolves, and then her polar bears will actually seep into next year. So, along with that, I cover, I'm covering spring stuff, I'm covering vaccines, um, vaccine books, uh, Caribbean American History Month, trying to think, uh, I don't know if I covered African American History Month this year. I have covered it in the past. You can check out my uh, videos as um, videos and stuff. And honestly, I do not remember what else we're covering. I think I'm covering unicorns. I have unicorns on there. <laughs> a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of videos. Um, I have a decent sized backlog at this point. Um, so be sure to check out the rest of the channel. I am going to be continuing a lot of uh, series in the past. I have covered the very dark, very horror, um, Last Apprentice series by jo the late Joseph Delaney, which is why on earth I ended up doing The Princess Diaries after dealing with those 13 books plus two sets of short stories and I think a guide on that one. Um, nice and horror. Not my genre. Needed something fluff. Thus The Princess Diaries. I've also co covered the uh, Ranger's Apprentice series previously. That's by John Flanagan. So I covered that. I've also covered two more Tamoris Pierce series. I've covered her Circle of Magic and the Circle Opens, and then the uh, the Will of the Empress. So those all those were earlier, along with a bunch of other stuff. So, and films and princessy stuff and all sorts of stuff. And yes, I did a whole bunch of Cinderella stuff as well. <laughs> you can check that out. Um, so, like and subscribe. Leave a positive comment if you have one. 